Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Wednesday, December 28th, and today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets, first looking at the cycle three bottom feeding tokens that we track on a regular basis and try and, try and uh, predict what possibly we could see for a bottom in various altcoins, Bitcoin as well. Uh, we have mostly down, Solana, of course, down quite a bit, 12.6% today. Where is Bitcoin? Bitcoin's only down 1%. Ethereum's down 2%. Gala Games down 5.6%. Sandbox down 5.9%. Axie Infinity down 5.9%. Aave down 6.4%. Decentraland Mana down 47 So looking real quick at that bottom feeding, trying to get a good price for dollar cost averaging in. And we're, we're basing this based on past cycles and again, past performance is no guarantee of future return. But if Bitcoin gets down to around 9,500, 10,000, which would be uh, uh, the average of the past two cycles, having cycle one and having cycle two, the average is down 85.5%, which puts, puts us right near 10,000. So if we do get down at those levels, then we'd expect to see Ethereum based on, again, past performance uh, at around 643 to 934. Cardano between 13 cents and 19 cents. Filecoin between $1.60 and 230. Aave $28.40 to $41.50. Um, Phantom 10 cents to 20 cents. The graph 3 cents to 4 cents. And so we'll continue to track that. And we talk about this quite a bit. The percentages from peak having three peak for all of these tokens have, have stayed relatively the same. Quite a few of them in the 90% down, a few in the 80, Uniswap and Chainlink, and then a few in the 79%, Cosmos, Polygon, Matic, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So looking at the top 100 tokens for the, the day, red day for cryptocurrency, very few green bubbles. We have hot up 2.2, internet computer protocol up 4.3. Don't know what FEI is. FEI is up 1.5 and I don't know what BGB, oh, BitGet. BitGet token is up 1.4. So some of the bigger tokens down, Solana down 12.7, Chain down 14.5. I think this is Aptos, yep, Aptos is down 10%. Luna C down 13.9. And we've gone through some of the other big red bubbles for the day. So red day for cryptocurrency. And again, can continue looking at the U.S. markets as, as crypto has been highly correlated with the U.S. markets, in particular the NASDAQ. And we're watching the NASDAQ for how it responds to being under the 200-week simple moving average. Hoping that it doesn't look like the mortgage crisis or the dot-com bubble where it really comes under for quite a few weeks under the 200 week simple moving average 185 weeks for the dot-com bubble 53 weeks for the mortgage crisis and COVID didn't even it just came down and touched the 200 weeks so looking at this area in the box in a little more detail um, we're looking at the fibonacci golden pocket we have touched the fibonacci golden pocket looking at the i believe this is yeah the one week for the nasdaq um, we did touch on the Fibonacci Colden Pocket, and we're just coming into it again now. We'll have to watch this candle right here close to see if we do make a lower low into and towards the bottom of the Fibonacci Golden Pocket. Wouldn't surprise us, not financial advice, but it wouldn't surprise us if we got down to the 0.786 Fib level of 89.27 for the NASDAQ. And if that happens and crypto stays correlated with the U.S. market, we'd expect to see it come down as well. Of course, this has been the big question mark. Uh, Bitcoin has been in the regular cycles uh, that we see for Bitcoin. Don't have a, a larger chart for Bitcoin up here, but we can look at total. The total cryptocurrency market cap has been in a downtrend just related to the normal Bitcoin having cycles and we should be consolidating and reaching a low fairly soon if we follow with the similar patterns as the past cycles. But this is the first time, like we've talked about many times, the U.S. markets were headed down when Bitcoin reached a peak in this having three cycle. S&P headed down, the Dow headed down. And so how much that pushes it down further 
if it pushes it down further is the big question mark. But right now, this is a, this is a very important time to be watching the NASDAQ as it is, is approaching a lower low in this downtrend that we've been in and also approaching the Fibonacci golden pocket. Looking at SPY, it has not touched the Fibonacci golden pocket, and this is from swing low to swing high from the COVID low to the absolute high of the S&P. Same thing with the NASDAQ, COVID low to the, to the absolute high in the NASDAQ. So the S&P has not yet hit the Fibonacci golden pocket. If it continues in this downtrending channel and reaches the bottom of the channel, then we'd, we'd expect that it would touch the Fibonacci golden pocket in about 8 to 10 weeks if we continue to get red weekly candles for those weeks. And so the NASDAQ has come, come considerably under the 200 week simple moving average. S&P 500 has touched it and bounced off of it and is approaching the 200 week simple moving average again. So looking at Bitcoin, it's been in this descending channel. This is the four hour chart on tradingview.com. It has completed this descending channel. It broke this uh, support line. And so it has a 73% chance of, of completing down here at 15,140. Um, and we continue to see lower highs, lower lows in this downtrending channel. We have seen very, very uh, uh, little action in Bitcoin for several weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. Very small bodies on these candles. Did get a pretty big wick on this candle of the week of December 12th, but overall pretty flat for Bitcoin. And so the big question is, are, we've seen three capitulations so far. Are we going to see a fourth and final, final capitulation into this orange box somewhere between 10,000 and 13,500? In news related to Bitcoin on CryptoPotato.com, MicroStrategy adds 2,500 Bitcoin. Their total stack now 132,250. 51 Bitcoin uh, continues following its Bitcoin agenda, purchasing more amounts of the primary cryptocurrency. The firm, the firm sold 704 Bitcoin on December 22nd for nearly $12 million to cover previous capital losses. Ethereum as well has been in this downtrending channel and it is just breaking the support now. And so, so if that candle closes, this is the four hour chart, then it will be complete. The pattern will be, um, complete as far as breaking the channel and then if it's successful it'll come down to a thousand sixty roughly for ethereum it has a 73 percent chance of doing that uh, according to this descending channel pattern looking at the total cryptocurrency market cap it continues in the downtrend as well and if it does uh, similar to having two cycle then we'd expect that we'd have a final capitulation into this area between 390 and 550 billion down from 3 trillion for the total cryptocurrency market cap. If we just look at altcoins, so all cryptocurrency excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, it as well continues in a downtrend and it's about the same percentage down. If we take our measuring tool from peak to where we're at now, roughly 74%. If we do the same for total, you can see from peak to where we're at now, roughly 74, 75%. So total, uh, so all cryptocurrency total market cap and all cryptocurrency less Bitcoin and Ethereum market cap down relatively the same percentage from Bitcoin having cycle three peak to the current price of, or, or ter current amount of total crypto market cap, which is at 292 billion for total three. In further news on CryptoNewsFlash.com, energy consumption data shows that blockchain technology does not use as much energy as some much less criticized technologies. While blockchains get a bad reputation for their high energy consumption, data shows that they are not the biggest energy consuming technologies. Both YouTube and the gold mining industry use more than two times the energy consumed by Bitcoin mining and Netflix in 2022. Even more, more remar remarkable is the massive energy consump consumption slashing that Ethereum did in 2022 following its migration to proof of stake. 
Ethereum now has an estimated energy consumption of 0 0.0026 terawatt hours per year. This is around 1% of the 0.26 consumed by online payments giant PayPal. It is also a, a more than 99% drop in Ethereum's previous, previous proof of work energy consumption estimate. Last art news article on Cointelegraph.com, five altcoin projects that made a real difference in 2022. Ethereum, uh, like we talked about, it's merged to proof of stake, POS, Lido, LDO, brought Ethereum network staking to the masses. Polygon partnerships show long-term resiliency. Mass adoption requires traditional companies and brands to get involved in crypto. Polygon Matic has a major focus on partnerships and some of the relationships developed in 2022 include Warner Music, JP Morgan, Instagram, and NewBank. Uh, NeoBank backed by Warren Buffett. We have MakerDAO, DAI proves resilient, their DAI token. In a year that saw algorithmic stablecoins depeg and perish, DAI has shown a resilience. Unlike centralized stablecoins, DAI is a decentralized stablecoin that provides transparency, censorship resistance, and the ability to operate outside traditional financial systems. And then the last one, Cosmos upgrades attract institutional investors' attention. In 2022, Cosmos, ticker symbol Atom, focused on solving the interoperability and communication challenges that exist between different blockchains. On January 1, Cosmos had 74 active developers, and this figure more than doubled, reaching a peak of 154 developers on November 30th. So if you haven't uh, already taken a picture of this cycle three bottom, again, this isn't financial advice. This research could contain er errors and investing involves risk and possible loss of principal capital. I'm not a financial advisor, but looking at past cycles and, and trying to predict what we could see for possible bottoms in, in altcoins, if Bitcoin gets between 9,500 and 13,500, that's what this chart is. And so if you want, you can take a picture of this or go back and look at, uh, we've discussed it many times on past videos. So in this psychology of a market cycle, we uh, it looks like we're right in this area for the crypto market in the accumulation where possibly we could get a final capitulation down before we do get this move up. Looking at this Wall Street cheat sheet psychology of a market cycle. Thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please follow us. Today's video is for entertainment only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.